Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will talk about how basically we can create the surrogate key inside PySpark data frame. Okay. And we will talk about the different approaches which we can use basically. So if you see here, I have written some commands uh, just to save your time. So the first command is basically the import statement, which I will be using. The second command where I'm reading the file, the third command where I'm saying that I will be reading a CSV file, which has a header and this is the location. And I'm saying the first 10 records, but uh, fortunately this CSV file has only eight records. So let me run it quickly and show you. So if you see here, this CC file has only eight records. Now, I wanted to add a surrogate key on this one. Okay. So the first method to add a surrogate key is use, is basically to use monotonical increasing ID. Okay. So how do we use it? So basically you can use the simple function with the column to create a column, right? Surrogate key means you will be creating a column with some specific or unique ID, right? Now, when I say I want a new column with the name of key ID, now what will the value? The value will be the monotonical increasing ID function. And what this function will do is it will generate a sequential number integer values. Okay. So let's see how it looks like. I'll directly write here show. Okay. And let's quickly see. Oh, I forgot to run this. Let me run it. Yeah, and there you go. So if you see here, the ID is added. So your surrogate key is already added here. So this is the one way, again, I'm using directly show here. If you want, you can store it in a data frame and you can use it further, right? It's up to you. Okay, so it's a very common uh, requirements when we generally use or we generally work in the real world projects. Okay, the second approach you can use is Windows function name is order by. Okay, so when I say order by, I wanted to take any of these column as an order and based on that order, I will be generating the key or you can just leave the order. You can simply write, simply use row number function. So let's, let's see in both the ways. Okay. So again, I will use df dot with column. Okay. And this time I will say, let's say um, surrogate key or something. Okay. Just to make it more clear. And I will use row number function. Okay, let's see if it works like this. Okay, and I will just rerun it so that there won't be a new key. Okay, let's run it and see the value. Show number not defined. Hmm, I forgot to put underscore. So if you see this row number call function needs an over clause anyways. Okay, so we need to define this over clause. Okay, so how to define it? It's, it's very simple. We need to define a specification, let's say. So you can use either way, it's up to you. Okay, row number dot over on which column you wanted to use it. Okay, so I will say, I will use it, Windows, order by, and let's say my column name is, let's say code. So what it will see, what it will do, it will arrange this in ascending order. Okay, so again, seven, you will see one ID will be generated as one. Okay, then again, 13, the ID will be generated as two. So it will arrange it in a ascending order. Okay, and then it will give you the surrogate key on top of it. So let's say I will write code. Now let's run this code and see how it works. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. 
Okay, it, it basically using the ascending order, the problem is the first, uh, it is treating it as a string. That, that's the main issue. Okay. So that's why it is happening. But if you run it on an ID, I think it will work the way which I have told you, right? See, it's taking the one, two, three in this way. Even if you use the address, right? It will again make it ascending order. It will first work on the Argentina. That's how it works. See? So based on a specific column, and based on the order by of that column, it actually create a row number, which will work for you as a surrogate key. You can simplify this code. So what you can do, you can take this code out of it. You can say, this is Windows specification or something. You can put it here. So that your code looks a little bit cleaner, okay. And let's save it as a data frame now and display it. Now your surrogate key is ready. So these are the approaches basically you can use to generate a surrogate key. Okay, there is one more approach, but for that one, you need to convert your SpireSpark data frame into a RDD, okay, which I generally don't prefer because that will have an impact on your performance, okay. Uh, the function name you can use in the RDD is zip with index, just for your knowledge. You can use it. Okay. So I hope this video will be helpful for you guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.